gorgeous, sparkly, juicy, tasty Libra. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, baby. We're going to take a look at you and your person. So whatever that means to you, boo boo. Situation, trip, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at uh, my darling boo boo Libra. Please show me angels and the goddess of love, goddess Aphrodite. Ooh, boo boo boo. It's love. This person definitely not over it, definitely still loves you, definitely desperate, panting, okay, they're like, <laughs> panting for you, they're like a little doggy, mm. okay, that kind of came out wrong, but whatever, whatever that innuendo was meant to be, it is, someone's panting for you, like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> oh my god, I'm feeling, I'm, fe I'm starting to feel better in my flu, if you're new, I got the flu, okay, this is like a whole saga on this channel, I've had the flu for two weeks, uh, but it's getting better, boo -boo. my voice is still trash, but we're getting through it. This person loves you. You're wondering if it's really over. It is not really over. This person is obsessing about you. They're thinking about you. You are at the center of their universe, baby, okay? They just want you. They want you so bad. What happened here? Libra, what happened? But this person, also Libra, they think you're hard work. And like, I mean, this is kind of like, you know, <laughs> it's a little rich, but this person is thinking, you know what? Libra's really hard work, but I miss Libra so much. I'm going to forgive them. <laughs> hmm. Cross watcher, what's going on? Also, welcome cross watcher. These energies can't switch. And Libra, if you are new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm. Libra, my, one more. Mm, I want for your birthday. Mm, Libra, happy birthday. <clears throat> if it's your birthday, today, happy birthday. I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising, but I'm Libra in Vedic Astrology, so Libra Rising. <coughs> we vibe, baby. We vibe. I love my Libras. So, babe, what happened here? <coughs> this is so funny. Okay, Libra, you know why a person thinks you're hard work? Because they never had to work for it, okay? And they never had to work. This person is coming up as the emperor, okay? But not in a good way. This is like, okay, low-key douche flute energy too, Libra, because it's someone who's like, this. things are going to be my way, okay? They're like, this is how it's going to be. This is the law. I'm the emperor, and you, like, do it or you don't. You know, emperor, empress, anyone in between, doesn't matter. Gender is arbitrary, but that's the energy of the person. Like, we're going to do it my way. I am Caesar, the Caesar of Rome. And if you don't don't want to do what I want you to do, I'm going to execute you. <laughs> it's that kind of a vibe. And you know how you're coming up, Libra, Bethel? You're coming up as the queen of pentacles. King, again, anyone between genders is arbitrary. You're kind of, uh, coming up as the queen of pentacles, which has one step just almost the empress. So it's just someone who has slightly less power. So I do feel like... On some level, this person may have, like, had more money or, like, subjectively more power in their everyday life. And they thought that they would, like, leverage it against you. And you were like, no, I am still a queen. I am an empress. Emperor. Excuse me. Anywhere in between in waiting. And, uh, no, I don't play those games. <laughs> no, you have to worship me. So, two very strong characters. Two very strong personalities. Two very strong energies. And, like, <clears throat> your person tried to dominate you. And you are like... No, you can't dominate me, boo, boo Are you insane? <laughs> say it to the birds. Or like, say it to the birds. Say it to the bees. <laughs> dominate the birds. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> You're like, whatever. <laughs> Communication page of a coins. Power struggle. If it was, look, if it was a bimbo, himbo from Tinder, you met on a Tuesday, anyone in between, there was, the power struggle was like the tension in the bedroom, like carnal tension. It was like wild animals, but you're, you, you, you're like wild animals. You like love each other. You're like in love and lust immediately. Your eyes locked. It was that tender day, you know, like those things don't happen, but whatever. Like, let, let's just imagine tender day, a person came and they were washed. <laughs> that never happens on Tinder. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> this person came in and you came in and you were like, oh my God. <laughs> I love you. Uh, it, very intense. It's a soul connection, baby, Libra. If it's new, it's a soul connection, you know. Uh, you, you met at Starbucks and, you know, uh, all the co coffee, like, boiled itself or something because it was like the, the tension was just off the charts. And um, 
And the issue here was personality traits. So your person has, you know, maybe a history of expecting certain things, expecting people to defer to them. There's something power, very powerful about your person. They, you know, expect deference or, or they've been treated like this in relationships in the past. So they wanted you to be like that. You wanted to be like, oh, my emperor, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Where should I stand? How should I sit to accommodate your needs? And you were like, no, I am the queen. Okay. Kneel before me, peasant. And this was like, I'm no peasant. I'm the emperor. This is like a whole thing. It Antony and Cleopatra vibes, you know? Like, it was a clash of the titans. So if it was someone new, it was a clash of the titans. This person wanted you to chase. You wanted them to chase. In the end, a message was sent. Nobody responded. Everybody left on red, like pointless. It was just a pointless little power struggle, you know? Uh, I, it's actually quite adorable because I feel like, you know, if, especially if it's a new person, this is going to be totally fixable because you've got yourself into a power struggle, a miscommunication, uh, two people just like, you know, exploring each other's boundaries and you're both like, you know, suspicious, observing each other. I think your person's been through it. You've been through it. There could even be children involved too. So, you know, potentially blending family, families in the future. So two people were like, what's going on here but this is all going to be fixable because this person loves you um they made a mistake i think they try to power play you in some kind of a way you think they ghosted you but i think they wanted like more reassurance or something so they didn't end up getting in touch with you or something along those lines and it was so if it was a more established connection there are i do see children here if it's not like actual physical uh, human children it's uh, creations you have created together but i also see a massive power struggle these are two you know people two rulers of the empire trying to rule the empire together so mm, it's just power struggles maybe you know there's clashes over career whose career is more important who was the main character <laughs> it's like yeah i mean it's casting season and everybody's the main character here so it's like mm, you know it's just just one of those things you know kim and kanye kind of a situation <laughs> like who is the main character um but again the love is real the love is absolutely real this is you know what i'm getting um i'm getting a message the message here is my boo -boo. you like if you don't have children, it's like, you know, you, you can see your unborn children in each other's eyes kind of thing, you know, or like your unborn, whatever little dogs you're going to adopt or something, you know, whatever you're into. <clears throat> and again, you know, there was a conflict. It, I see a standoff. So there was like a power standoff, whatever that means. Either one person ghosted or someone walked away or someone did a power. There's like power play, power struggle. Uh, two people, you know, two cowboys, like, looking at each other. No one's making moves, and that's how this ended. So currently, this is a break, and there's no communication. Uh, somebody could be blocked. There could have been something done out of passion or anger. One person trying to teach each uh, the other one a lesson. But the truth is that your person is head over heels with you. All they think about is you. Okay, they are obsessed. They think you're hard work, though. They really do. It's like, you know, like a passionate, it's like a passionate bond, you know, you, you argue a lot and you make up a lot. <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink, you know what I mean? You make up all the time. So <laughs> this night of, night of cups, we're not, this is, this channel is not obsessed with socks. I just, I don't know why it comes up. It's just fun to say it. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel compelled to say it that way. <laughs> I'm not even like, that. okay, never mind. So the Knight of Cups is, uh, is the intention of the person. They want to send you a message or if they blocked you, if you're blocked each other, they want to somehow work out a way so that you can start communicating again. Because <laughs> they want to see your uh, gorgeous little face. You got the higher font hair. Okay. In terms of actions, they're going to come in with a plan to get the stability back in the relationship. If you're already married, they want to save the marriage. If it's a bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone in between, they want to make it official, put a label on it. They want to stabilize the situation here. <laughs> you will be receiving a message within a month, the Ace of Pentacles <coughs> and an apology. An apology and a message from the bibi who is obsessed with you because it's true love. Let's get some advice here. I feel like we don't even need advice because this really is not a douche flip. So and there's nothing like, yeah, look, the advice is gorgeousness. You're going to be so happy together. A ton of, uh, ton of cups. Look, I, if, if there's any kind of advice I can give to you is in this connection, when you go forward, baby, you know, you might be in some pain right now. You might be questioning the connection. Your person is too, like, you know, are we going to work it out? Is Libra over me? Stuff like that. But the thing is, like, you know, um, 
try and keep the power struggle to a minimum because the love here is true and real. This is a soul connection. You're made for each other. This is Ant Antony and Cleopatra, Caesar and Cleopatra. Like, you know, actually <laughs> come to think of it, she did she did date both of them. But okay, whatever, like one of them died. So whatever, it, it, it is what it is. So I'm just saying, <clears throat> it's kind of like this epic love story. You are going living a love story. <coughs> I'm sorry, but there. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so sick, baby. How did this happen? Anyways, <clears throat> actually, I know exactly how it happened. Um, I'm always sick. <laughs> I catch the flu all the time. I need to get better at fighting it. So, yeah, I, it, this is an epic love story. There's really nothing to worry about going forward. It's all gorgeousness. There's so much hope and beautifulness in your future. So just don't do the power struggle so much because I feel like that was the downfall uh, of this connection in this particular instance. Oh, my God. I think this is the most positive you versus them reading I've ever done. <laughs> Like, seriously, this is just so scrumptious. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, like the video, because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. I'll see you next time, my scrumptiousness and Libra. Take care of yourself, stay sparky, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you with you. Mm-hmm.